to you, man. All right. Hey, what's up, man? What's up to the fans in Ghana? Yeah, well, you know, I'm representing Ghana. And... How was training? Oh, it was great. Okay. Another day in a bank. Yeah, I hear that, man. Somebody from Ghana, I like to Okay, so uh, it's, it's, we, we're here with uh, Helen Joseph, uh, one of the best uh, uh, f women fighters we have today, uh, you know, in the junior lightweight division. She has a fight coming up with uh, Michaela Mayer. So uh, how's, how's training been for you? Um, we are trying. The training is going well, you know. Uh, Getting ready. Everything is working fine. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. So what? So what, what's what's? How's your how's your mind? How you feel? How are you feeling? You 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 sound like you're tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm sure you you tired. Huh? No, really, you know. But this is time to get some rest because um, this fight came all of suddenly that we are not prepared. We don't even know the condition of the pandemic thing. So we, I know I will have a fight, but I don't know it will come so close. You know. So yeah. it's like when it come, every we work everything, no space. You have to push up everything together to make sure you get the best shape you need to be. So yeah, this this hour we're supposed to use it for relax because there's a lot to do again tomorrow. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, so when you heard about this fight, how long how long ago did you hear? You said about uh, a month ago. You said. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like three weeks ago. Oh, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So, um, have you had? So, your manager is everything uh, in order, or are you just like, is it? Are you feeling confident in your travel plans and everything? Or yeah, we are okay. My manager is fine. Every, everything is okay for the fight because, but the thing is that we're gonna face a lot of uh, testing. You know. Yeah. They have to test us 24 hours, you know. Mm -hmm. They have to do a lot of um, medical, you know, because of the condition we find ourselves in the world today, you know. Mm -hmm. so, but apart from that, everything is fine. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear, you know, I, I just always worry, you know, about uh, our people, you know, West Africans, you know, when, when we get ready to fight on a big stage, it's always like, um, this is not your, anyone's your fault, but it's like last minute. It's like always, uh, it's not right comfortable, you know. But I'm I'm glad you feel like everything's going good for you, you know. Yo, right. I always say I always tell people about boxing is like a soldier work. We have to get ready. You have to stand to receive whatever that comes your way without thinking twice. You understand? Even if you're in a good condition, a soldier can never run from war because that is what you sign for. This is what we sign for. So it never means whenever they call you or fight, you don't need to give any excuse. You just need some time to work things out. You'll be fine. You understand? So that is what I believe. I don't have a school because this is my life. This is my picture. This is my career. This is what I love most. So nothing to talk about. Uh, exactly. I, I, so what do you what do you know about Hel uh, Michaela Mayer? What, what do you do? You know much about her as a boxer? Um, for me, I don't. I don't really care about knowing who my opponent is. You understand. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't care about who you are. I don't care about your record. I don't care about your title. Because you know why? All these things you got, the people you fought in the ring are not Helen Joseph. Mm -hmm. I am a different person. You understand? I don't care to know who you are much. I just want to know your name and know when you fight your last fight finish. That is all I got to know. Let me let me tell you, you know, uh, you, you, people know that you're a serious contender in the ring. You know, you you you're not you're not no one to play with. Because let me tell you, I'm gonna read something from Delphine Pearson. She said that. Let me read. She said uh, when she went in the ring with you, she wanted to show people what boxing really is, but it's not possible with with uh with Helen Joseph. It said, you know, at times it seemed more like a street fight. Than, you know, so I, they know that you know they they know that you're coming to bring everything, and and it's not going to be a comfortable fight. Uh, let's talk about how you your style. Like how, you, when you come in the ring, you you make it real uncomfortable for your opponent. Can you talk about that? Say yeah. The thing is that 
I, I respect all the champions because to be a champion is not easy. But I am not afraid of anybody. I'm not afraid of any champion. And there's no any kind of fight you will give me that will make me panic or think about, oh, what am I going to do with my opponent? No way. As soon as he's boxing, I am confident. I am happy. I, I will relax and do what I got to do. You understand? Mm -hmm. I know be a mo I travel a lot in different country to fight war title. That is why they keep denying me of giving me the what. If it is all my war title I fought is my own country, like other girls, most of them, they don't travel out when they want to fight their war title. They want to fight in their country. Uh, if I'm doing that the same way, I could I get like five war titles with me today. If I have a country who stand I love boxing that I am doing, you understand? Because most of the girls I fought, they stay in their country, their government support them. You can't take those titles away from them unless you kill them. You understand? So I am not afraid. I'm not novice in the ring. I don't want to know how you punch or whatever. You understand? So when I get to the ring, I relax and do what I got to do. It's my gift. Mm. Do, do you do you watch uh, oh, uh but do you watch fights uh of, of your opponents? Do you watch old fights to, to study them? I don't need to. Oh, you don't? Okay, okay. I don't need to. I, I can only watch the highlights, but I, it, because if I'm watching it, it never do me any good because I am not the person she's fighting. Definitely, yeah. It, it, you you you're able to yeah. You can't you can't base a, a opponent off there. You know that how she fought her last opponent of how you're gonna fight. Yeah, it's gonna be a different different show. <laughs> Yeah, because the girl she fought, if that girl fight me, she, that girl will not finish round with me because she got nothing. Mm. You understand? Mm. That girl got nothing. She can't stand with me like that. You understand? Mm. So I am not that girl. So I am different person. So if I watch them, it make no sense because I'm not going to fight like the same girl she fought. Mm. You you know a lot of people respect you. Man. I, I I mean I, of course I do because I I seen you in a uh, training one, once with a uh, with Clarissa. Do you remember uh, sparring with Clarissa Shield oh, back in the day? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember that? I just I just found that I just found that video like two days ago. Wow, yeah, that did, was I, ten rounds. We went ten rounds, and that was I was weighing one twenty two when she was wow. weighing almost one sixty. It was hot. <laughs> And that's why I'm thinking in this fight here coming up, I just feel like you, you, the, your advantage is to bully her and just really make her uncomfortable. I, I just see that you're going to do very well in that department where you 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 in there, you know, making it a tough fight, fight going to the body. I mean, I know you you I know you have good training, so uh, but that's what I think. What do, what do you think about that? Yeah, I had a good trainer, and uh, my, my team was really there for me in this period of fight, this short period. I really prepare. I'm in good shape. Even the shape I am now is better than the one I was when I fought Pesil. Mm. I say in this good shape, I find myself is going to be a crazy because that girl, I want to send her to hospital. After this fight, she will never be in the ring for a very long time. Maybe she don't know who is our young lady. I will let her know she's just like a mature coming from some, I'm coming from nowhere because I'm going somewhere. She got everything. She did not come from where I come from. If she passed the process and the way I passed, she will quit boxing. She will never be a boxer because she has no endurance. You understand? She is just, yesterday, somebody just came out from Olympic and you got a promoter and when they call you a champion, you think you are one of the champions. I will let her know boxing has grade. She's not my grade. I will teach her what boxing is all about. And I will let her know what professional boxing is all about. Uh, that's very, very believable because, you know, that interview we had, I suggest everyone to go back and watch the interview we had that when you told us how you got the name Iron Lady, really where you came from, how you came up, you know, when you went through that uh, trial of uh, your, 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 uh, your, your amateur uh, days, when, you know, being injured, you know, fighting injured and all these things. Yeah, a lot of these fighters don't go through that. And uh, yeah, you, you bring in a lot of experience to the table. So I, I, I respect you for that, for sure.
so what do you how do you feel about fighting in an arena with no fans? What do, you, what do you think about that? I know that is crazy because I like show, you know. Mm. I like dancing. I like people watch me dance. I like to entertain people with my way of moving down to the ring. It's going to be really crazy too because nobody's going to be there to watch me do my thing. Mm. But anyway, for me, as I'm going in there, I am still feeling like people are everywhere. That is the I am using to watch the fight that day. I am still looking as if people are everywhere and sitting down watching me do my thing. You understand? So mm -hmm. I don't want to feel lonely. I don't want to feel like, oh, it's boring. No way. I want to do it real like it's happening as before, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because a lot of people are gonna be they're gonna be watching. So uh, you know, people are like really in need of some kind of a sport. So when it comes on ESPN, they're gonna be watching. So uh, you know, yeah, uh, but they are not gonna be right there. No, yeah, yeah, I know. Shouting, iron lady, you know, or who mm -hmm. is supporting the person, you know. So mm -hmm. but it's okay, we're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. So. You know, I know, I know. You, you know, you've been trained. I don't want to keep you too long, but uh, let, let's uh, let's talk about one, one a few more things. Uh, who, who do you, what do you think about uh, um, like this 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 back and forth between Carissa Shields and Layla Ali? What do you think about that? I just want to know, want your opinion on that. Have you have you been following that? You know what I think about both of them. Both of them are good. Hmm. Both of them make female boxing what they are. People love them. You know them they bring respect in this our game because they are boxers and they are beautiful women and they they showed respect to be a, a woman and they, they do their thing you understand both of them are just like one because i am proud of both of them if they were to be if they were to get this match done i would be happy because the world will see that two strong female are contesting and they are gonna do the their best because they're gonna make the world shake you understand uh -huh. so i really love the idea if they were to fight themselves fine it's good i support them you understand because a, a champion need to fight a champion before you can be called the really champion. You know that? Yeah. So it's good. It's good. It's going to make um, female boxing more strong because people want to see what comes out, you know? So do, do you, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, do you think, do you think uh, of Leila Ali being in her 40s, do you think she has much of a chance with a, with a 20, a young 20 year old, uh, 20, you know, <laughs> excellent fighter what do you think you think that's much of a chance um let me tell you something i don't believe in age in okay. sports. Mm -hmm. i believe the way you prepare yourself in the game i believe the way you discipline yourself when you're preparing for your match i don't believe age can stop you not to be the what you want to be you understand so given excuse because of age it means nothing to me do what you got to do Train, keep yourself in a good shape. Believe yourself that I want to do this, and I will do it. Forget about the age, but when you put your age in your mind, it keeps your spirit. You understand? Uh -huh. I have seen a forty or oh, a forty years old man beat up a young boy like twenty eight years. You understand? Uh -huh. So it doesn't mean anything. It depends how you believe yourself and prepare yourself. They are both good to go, no matter what. Okay, as far as your your preparation, any you have no uh, no injuries and anything to worry about. Uh, you you feel how you feel a hundred percent, or you say you you about. Yeah, I'm yeah. really good. You know, yeah, I'm in good shape in this fight. I can't lie to you. This is my fight. You know, when I'm like this, I know it's gonna be crazy in the ring. Okay, yeah. So, so uh, can you give us some kind of a training? Uh, what you've been working on in training, like as far as like some technique or uh, what have you focused on a lot? Can you tell us? Um, you know, in, in terms of fights, I like 
secrets you know okay, okay yeah. i don't leak my secret out but i have a good training i run i jump rope i spy the way i will do my sparring my condition are okay you understand and i'm in camp in philadelphia and a lot of people are showing me too much love you know mm. if it be Coaches, I don't have contract with. They came out to to make sure I got the best from here because that is my first time to be in camp. And the Helen Joseph have something that that makes me different. Wherever I go, people love me so much. They came to love me, and they they they're willing to give me the best before I will leave this state. So I'm so happy. Okay. Yeah. And so, and when when you plan on leave? What is it? What is it? When you're leaving a uh... Philly again? What, what day? I'll be leaving on Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Okay, so you'll be in Vegas for a week, right? Almost. Oh, no. No. Uh, a couple three, of days. Three, yeah. Two, two, yeah, two to oh. three days. Oh, okay. Well, okay, okay. So, man, but, you know, everything's so, I'm, I'm, everything's good. Um, I, I wish you the best, you know. Uh, I hope, so I hope, hope to talk to you again, if, and maybe after the fight, you know, we can uh, catch up. I know you got to rest, and I don't want to keep you. <laughs> so, uh, but, you don't have problem. I'm fine. Oh, okay. Oh, so, I mean, so you, you, so you have where you have your place in Vegas already. Everything's situated, or are you still working on that? No, everything is set already. Okay, good. I just okay. I'm just asking because I just know how you know. I, I've 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 talked to a few Ghana boxers, and you know, they when they got to their destination, it was like it wasn't really set, you know. So I'm I'm just, and then that kind of caused stress in the. The camp, you know, and they will, you know, kind of mess with their preparation, you know. So uh, it's good to hear that you have good management. Yeah, I never been that kind of shit before, you know. <laughs> my uh, year, I never been before. I leave my my state or my country. Everything, my hotel, everything are perfectly taken care. If I just get there, everything I want is fine. Okay. Yeah, I've never been that kind of story before, you know. That is it. Okay. Who, who's your manager? The Vikenede, Brian Coase. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I, I wish I could go to Vegas. You know, what I mean that that's, that fight's on a Tuesday, I believe. So it'd be yeah. like it's a different it's a different kind. Is that is that gonna bother you at all fighting on a Tuesday? I mean, is it, it's just another day, huh? Man, I had I never fought on Tuesday before. This is my first time. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, yeah, no. As we, yeah, is it is it is that MGM uh, Las Vegas? Uh, is, yeah. is it your first? Is your first time to Vegas? Or? Yeah, I've never been there before. Wow, you ain't been there? okay. Yeah, I'm. I, shoot, Vegas. I'm about three hours from Vegas, but you know, it's it's a uh, it's a good place. You know, yeah. it'll be huh? Three hours. Oh. Yeah, I'm about. I, I, yeah, I'm about three hour drive from Vegas. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but it won't. It, it won't be. It'd be a uh, not too many people. You know, it's gonna be real light over there. So you 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 may be able to jog up and down the. Uh, the I the don't know the condition of there because that I'm hearing they're gonna lock us down. You know. No, no actually, you know, Vegas is uh opening up. They they're actually uh trying to get back to normal over there. So they're they're a little they're they're going faster than most pe most states. So wow, that sounds good. Yeah. So. Yeah. You should have you should have a really good time, you know. I, I hope you have a you know nice comfortable trip, you know, and uh, you know no stress, you know. You go and go into the fight, and then you do you do a hundred percent, and then you you sh you do your thing like you always do. So I'm I'm confident in that. I mean, I would be yeah. very happy if that place is happening the way I want it to happen. Like go out there, see things for myself because never be there, you know, feel free. That would be very nice. I would be happy too because I have been hearing a lot of a lot about that state. So I just need to see things by myself. Uh, you know? Yeah, you you see you see yeah, it, it's nice uh, light lights and you know buildings. It, it's good, you know, it's just that the people won't be there like they normally are, but it'll be it'll be it'll be a nice sight to see for you. So uh, yeah yeah well I, I thank you i thank you for talking to me i know it's uh hard times now but uh i really appreciate your time and uh i, I definitely want to talk to you again you know uh soon after this uh, event and uh after your victory you know we can chop it up sure you are you're a brother you always be one of you just hit on me i'm online no problem you do you, you definitely are you always always accept my invitation i appreciate it i really do yeah sure uh, 
So ha- have a good night. Have a good night and uh and uh blessings to you and everything well for for your travel and everything. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being there. You know, I always appreciate when you want to take my word out there. May God bless you, you know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Same to you. Okay. Thank you. All, All right. right. Okay, bye. Bye.